Now, it's 10 years since Kim Jong-un took power in North Korea, aged just 27. He's attended a memorial ceremony marking the death of his father, Kim Jong-il, in Pyongyang 10 years ago. Since he came to power, Kim Jong-un has generated many headlines, but his country is in crisis, with the economy crippled by sanctions and strict border closures to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Laura Bicker looks back at his time as leader. He was too young, too inexperienced. They predicted his downfall. But Kim Jong-un has defied the odds and survived as leader of North Korea. When he took over from his father 10 years ago, there were doubts among the elite. Who in the world would like a hereditary succession? What would a 27-year-old know? It makes no sense for him to run the country. But his people were forced to revere him. Every morning, all these songs praising Kim Jong-un in these loudspeaker broadcast trucks walk people up. Bigger, bolder, state propaganda built an image of a brighter, more modern North Korea. But hopes that the country would open were short-lived. All foreign influences, from music to drama, have been banned. Often, the penalty is death. To even control the melody and singing style just shows they are not confident in their own regime. When it came to foreign policy, he's played a poor hand well. His pursuit of nuclear weapons put his tiny, impoverished country at the centre of the world stage. We were ordered to make the world immune to North Korea's nuclear program. If the international community continues to hear and discuss North Korea having nuclear weapons, they'll think, oh well, North Korea has nuclear weapons. It's not that big of a deal. North Korea has been hit by crippling sanctions to curb its weapons program, but it's made little difference. The North can never give up its nuclear weapons because it considers it to be vital to the survival of the regime. The country is now in crisis. The border has been sealed shut to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Vital supplies have not been able to get through for nearly two years. In the end, if there is no sanctions relief, the regime could be under threat. Kim Jong-un knows this well. So to relieve sanctions, I am sure that he will come to talks. This key anniversary has Kim Jong-un at a crossroads. What he does next will decide his future and that of his people. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Seoul.